All right, next up we have Charles, Charles Law. Um, he discovered that if you increase temperature, all right, so temperature goes up, um, its volume will also go up. So if you think about this, this kind of makes sense. Think about a balloon. If you heat up a balloon, it, the gas particles are going to move around faster, which they're going to bounce off the walls of the balloon fat more, and that's going to kind of cause the pressure to cause it to expand a little bit. Um, so if you have the temperature going up, the volume's going to go up. All right, so volume increases. This is a direct relationship. And in this chapter, we're using Kelvin for everything. Okay, so if you're given Celsius, add 273 to it, and then you get the temperature in Kelvin. Okay, so here's an example. Um, a sample of neon gas occupies a volume of 752 milliliters at 25 degrees Celsius. What volume will the gas occupy at 100 degrees Celsius if the pressure remains constant? Okay, so remember how I taught you that um, equation? Um, okay, so for this one, we would be canceling out a couple different things. So let me change the color. And um, pressure is the same, so we're not going to use pressure. Um, we do have some volumes, right? Here's a volume. And then we have temperature. So number of moles, we're not talking about, not talking about. So we have this and we have this. So you could plug in, the stop, in those things and then um, solve it just like that. That's fine. Um, you could also do it a slightly different way, but again, it's it's really up to you on um, on how you want to do this. Okay, so let's plug it in. We have V1 over V2 equals T1 over T2. All right. Now, like I said, you can memorize it like that. Um, if you Google it online, you may see some other versions of this, but again, it's kind of all the same. Um, okay, so now we have this equation here, and let's plug in some numbers. So we have V1, V1's up here, so 752.0 milliliters. Um, on the bottom, we have V2, that's what we're looking for, right? Yeah, what volume will the gas occupy? So this is V2, we don't know. Um, T1 is 25, right? T1, 25, but we have to add... 273 plus 25, that's going to give us 890, okay, so we get 298 for that one, and that's T1, so that goes on top, okay, and then 100, um, 100, so that's just plus 273, so it's going to be 373 on the bottom, all right, now to solve this problem, um, I would cross multiply. All right, so that's going to give us uh, V2 times 298 Kelvin equals 752.0 milliliters times 373 Kelvin. Okay, and then um, we need to divide by 298. That's going to give us V2 equals 941, it looks like. Um, and then units, if we take a look, um, the Kelvins cancel out, Kelvins cancel out milliliters. Okay, there you go.